This question reminded me my experiences with USB stick. It always feels like a 50-50 chance, but somehow it's never the right way for me. You're presented with the sequence of numbers. The numbers are 21, 13, 34, 47, 71, 18, and then comes the missing number, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 81, choice B, 85, choice C, 89, and last but not least, choice D, 91. Gotta tell you, don't get discouraged here. I'm pretty sure your chances are much higher than 50-50. Because whether you're a current subscriber actively tackling these challenging questions regularly, or an occasional visitor trying to learn new skills and getting ready for the test, I have complete faith in your ability to solve this problem. Just make sure to give yourself enough time and think out of the box. There's a 100% probability of a 50-50 chance that you solved it already. With that in mind, let's navigate the complexities together so you can share with me your way of solving it. As usual, if you have a better way to unlock this mystery or have any tips how to solve these types of challenges, please make sure to post them in comments. The best way to solve these types of challenges is to think out of the box. And the key consideration here is that sometimes the next number is calculated not just through the simple math formula, but using number substitution. The pattern in this particular sequence is that the first digit of the next number is always the last digit of the previous number, and second digit is calculated as the sum of digits in the previous number. Let's look at the example. So the first number is 21, it is given, but the second number is 13, and digit 1 here is not calculated, it's just the last digit of the 21. But the digit 3 in 13 is calculated as the sum of 1 plus 2. Let's do the missing number then. The first digit of the missing number would be 8. It is not calculated, it's just the last digit of 18. And the last digit of the missing number is 9. It is calculated as the sum of 8 plus 1. So the correct answer here is choice C, 89. This particular test question is so tricky. It's like trying to fold a fitted sheet perfectly. You think you've got it, but it ends up crumpled mess and nobody has the answer. You're presented with three pyramids. Each pyramid has three numbers on the outside and one number inside. In the first pyramid, the numbers are 27, 16, and 33, and the inside number is 16. In the second pyramid, the numbers are 25, 34, and 46 on the outside, and the inside number is 15. And on the last pyramid, the inside number is 14, and the numbers on the outside are 34, 47, and then comes the missing number, which you need to determine and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 52. Choice B, 53. Choice C, 54. And last but not least, choice D, 55. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Hey, whether you're a current subscriber actively tackling these questions or someone contemplating a subscription in the future, I have complete faith in your ability to overcome this challenge. Just make sure to grant yourself sufficient time for the contemplation. Are you ready? I am going to continue this adventure. Let's navigate together through the complexities and exchange solutions. Your insights could be the key to unlocking this mystery. And speaking about mysteries, I gotta share the secret with you. Only one digit from the whole number is used in the calculations here. So, for example, in the first pyramid, instead of using numbers 27, 16, and 33 to calculate the middle number 16, only numbers 7, 6, and 3 are used in the calculations. And sum of 7, 6, plus 3 is exactly 16. If you look at the second pyramid, the numbers 5, 4, and 6 are used in the calculation. And sum of 5, 4, and 6 is 15. So for the missing number, we need to build a quick equation. Because we know the final number 14 and two of the numbers used in the calculations, 4 and 7, we can build a quick equation. 14 minus 4 minus 7 equals 3. So the calculated digit here is 3, and the missing number is choice B, 53. 
You know, I was recently surprised to learn that it takes three contractors to install a new light bulb. Why? One would do the work and the other two will give him tips on how to do the work better. Well, the good thing about this problem is that we only need to solve it for two contractors. Because in our problem, two contractors worked on the project and earned together $1,400. First contractor worked for three weeks and another contractor worked for four weeks. Assuming they earned the same rate, how much did the first contractor earn? And you present it with four possible choices. Choice A, $200. Choice B, $500. Choice C, $600. And last but not least, choice D, $900. If this problem seems confusing, believe me, it is much easier than manage three contractors to install a new light bulb. And whether you're a current subscriber actively tackling questions in this channel, or someone considering a subscription in the future, I have complete faith in your ability to solve this challenge. Just make sure to grant yourself sufficient time for contemplation. Are you ready? I'm going to continue this project management adventure. Let's navigate the complexities together and exchange solutions. Your insight could be the help to unlocking this mystery. And if you have a better way to solve it, make sure to post it in comments. In the first step, we need to determine the facts and think critically about the relationships between parties involved, as well as duration of the project and effort. We have two contractors, we have seven weeks of effort, and we have total spend of $1,400. Because we have two contractors here, our total earnings would be earnings of the first contractor plus earnings of the second contractor. Let's establish variable X to calculate weekly earnings. Our total earnings would be 3X for the first contractor and 4X for the second contractor, and total would be equal $1,400. 7X would be equal $1,400. Let me give you another tip here. It always helps to create visual representation or a diagram if applicable. In this case, it could be a project plan where you have contractor one working for three weeks and contractor two working for four weeks. To calculate weekly earnings for seven weeks, we need to divide 1400 by seven and our weekly earnings are $200. Don't be confused though, because this is not the answer, even though we have a choice A for $200. In the last step, we need to calculate the earnings for the first contractor who worked for three weeks. Three multiplied by 200 equals 600. So, the correct answer here is choice C, $600. Well, this question is for you to solve on your own. And I bet you never came across a question like this before. Deciphering this particular one is like trying to understand a cat's mood swings. Complicated and probably impossible. But hey, on this channel we support each other and have full confidence that you will persevere on this challenging task. You're presented with the 3x3 three three matrix. Matrix has numbers inside. The numbers are starting from the upper right corner, 12, 36, and 80 in the right column. Numbers 6, 12, and 20 are in the middle column. And then numbers 3, 4, and then comes the missing number are in the left column. You need to determine and calculate the missing number and select it out of four possible choices. Choice A, 3. Choice B, 4. Choice C, 7. And last but not least, choose D, 5. You need to embark on this mental adventure solo. And once you've conquered the challenge, share your triumph in comments, and I will be there to comment on your solution. Thanks for participating, and good luck solving this challenge. <laughs> I gotta tell you, solving this question is like navigating through the maze blindfold. Challenging, a bit disorienting, and probably not recommended. You're presented with the sequence of numbers. The numbers are 14, 17, 28, 11, 41, 71, 82, and then comes the missing number, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 95. Choice B, 72. Choice C, 11. And last but not least, choice D, 10. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. If you watched enough problems on this channel, you know that to solve the steps of challenges, you need to think out of the box. 
The good thing is, I have full confidence that you can solve this challenge by giving yourself enough time to think about it. Are you ready? Let's move forward so we can solve and review the solution together. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. I hope you took my comment to think out of the box to heart. You do not always need to look at the sequence of numbers, but sometimes need to look at the other patterns as well. And in this case, the numbers on the opposite side of the shape are the reversed versions of themselves. Let's look at the examples. 14 becomes 41. 17 becomes 71. 28 becomes 82. And the missing number 11 is the same, 11. So the correct answer here is choice C, 11. Let's explore this mind-boggling assessment test together. This question goes beyond typical assessment and validates your attention to details as well as your practical problem-solving techniques. You are presented with three expressions and you need to find the fourth one. The first expression is 1 by 2 plus 3. The second expression is 2 by 3 plus 4. The third expression is 3 by 4 plus 5. The fourth expression would need to be selected and rationalized out of four possible choices. Choice A, 3 by 5 plus 4. Choice B, 4 by 5 plus 6. Choice C, 6 by 5 plus 4. And last but not least, choice D, 7 by 4 plus 5. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Did you find your answer? I think I discovered my solution. So let's go ahead, move forward and dissect our problem solving methods together. I am eager to share with you my step-by-step -step process and encourage you to contribute your own ingenious insights in comments. The way I see the answer is that we need to ignore the mass signs, multiplication and plus signs and focus on the numbers themselves. Because the pattern here is actually the sequence of numbers in each row. For example, let's take a look at the row 1. The numbers are 1, 2, 3. In second row, the numbers are 2, 3 and 4. In the third row, the numbers are 3, 4 and 5. So what we see is that the number in the next row starts with the middle number of the previous row. Which means that correct numbers for the row 4 would be 4, 5 and 6. So the correct answer here is choice B, 4 by 5 plus 6. Well, uh, seeing how good you're becoming with these puzzles, I need to challenge you a little bit. Here's the question for you to solve. But I gotta warn you, trying to understand this question is like attempting a teach a dog advanced calculus, confusing for everyone involved. But hey, once you coach your dog, you can definitely call the audience for help, especially with this question. You need to put a math sign in between numbers 3 and 7, so that the resulting number would be greater than 3 and less than 7. You're presented with multiple choices. Choice A, plus sign. Choice B, minus sign. Choice C, multiplication sign. Or choice D, something else. Well, being an existing subscriber and challenging your brain with us regularly, or potentially considering to become a future subscriber, I have full confidence that you can solve this challenge on your own by giving yourself enough time to think about it. Unfortunately, my help ends here as you need to embark on this mission solo. Well, of course you can ask your dog for an answer as well, no issues here. But once you've conquered this challenge, share your triumph in comments for a lively discussion. I am eager to review the solution and provide you with the feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck solving this challenge. Prepare to tackle this intriguing assessment test question, designed not just to test your mental math abilities, but also to foster your critical thinking skills, which you can utilize in your day-to-day -day life. You are presented with two unusually looking hexagons, and each hexagon has the three outside numbers and one inside number. On the first hexagon, the outside numbers are 16, 36, and 49 and the inside number is 17. On the second hexagon, the outside numbers are 64, 81, and 25, and inside number is missing. You need to determine the missing number out of four possible choices. Choice A, 20. Choice B, 21. Choice C, 22. And last but not least, choice D, 23. 
take a close look to see if you can select the right number. Are you ready? I think I found my answer, and I am thrilled to compare it with your solution. Let's continue so we can examine our strategies step by step. And if your brilliant approach is better or more efficient than mine, don't hesitate to let us know in comments. Finding the pattern is the key to solving this challenge. And I'm pretty sure, as being a subscriber or a future subscriber to this channel, you know this already. And the pattern here is unusual but very interesting. The middle number is calculated as a sum of square roots of surrounding numbers. Let's look at the example. For example, for shape 1, 4 squared equals 16, 6 squared equals 36, 7 squared equals 49. Then the middle number is calculated as the sum of 4 plus 6 plus 7, which would be equal as 17, and that's the middle number. Knowing this, let's calculate the missing number. 5 squared equals 25. 8 squares equals 64, 9 squared equals 81, so the missing number would be calculated as 5 plus 8 plus 9 equals 22. So the correct answer here is choice C, 22. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you for helping us to become one of the largest YouTube channels to help people become smarter, increase your IQ, and to pass any test. If the content of this video was helpful, please make sure to click the like button to help YouTube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster. Giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this, and when you tell us, we will deliver it for you in the future. For links to free and premium resources, please check the description and comments of this video. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to download the materials related to this topic. I really appreciate your endorsement, support, and patronage of this channel. And thank you for considering to become a member and considering to subscribe. Please leave feedback, suggestions, or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.